Thanks for tuning in. This is Sweet Cyclist, and today we're going to be doing a comparison test between a $14 generic eBay bicycle stand and a $65 Toe Peak lineup bicycle stand. Today we're going to be doing a comparison test between a generic eBay bicycle stand versus a Toe Peak lineup. The generic stand is a $14 eBay special. It's unbranded. And if you see, it's actually on eBay listed with various pictures. I kind of reuse the same ones. Uh, it's advertised as a hub link, portable display stand, portable bicycle stand, even as a work stand. It basically consists of two arms. Uh, they fold out. They have two plastic gears on each end and a little plastic knob on each end as well. You tighten that down to get the angle you want for the size of your wheel. And then to attach the bike, the end caps of your skewer actually fall on these little slots. And these little plastic pieces are rotatable to get the right fit. The distance between these two is right about six inches, so that limits the compatibility quite a bit. But in terms of design, fit and finish, it's really basic. There's not much here. There's some hidden bolts underneath here. But otherwise, yeah, two plastic knobs. So really simple and it's uh, anywhere from $14 to $35, so quite the bargain. And as well, once it folds, it's really portable. As you can see, it's really light. Uh, here's the Topeak lineup. I've actually done a full review of this and I'll put a link in the top right. You can see this is aluminum and plastic design. This is kind of what they call the swing arm design. Uh, it consists of nice polished aluminum and then it's also portable by having the stabilizer arms collapse in and then the swing arm fold in. So to open it up, you kind of pull out the stabilizer arms. These pivot out 90 degrees. And then you basically pull up. And that's it. So the design of this is to once you put the wheel in, that goes back to accommodate different size wheels. And then just to refresh you on this, if you haven't seen the full review, it has these little channels to accommodate both road bikes and then larger bikes. So in the next segments, we're going to kind of determine if you should go the cheap route or should spend a little more on the toe peak. So here we have the eBay stand and my specialized Roubaix. This has through axles instead of quick releases. And you can already see the first issue. There is really no way to attach this because of these cutouts. They're designed for the quick release uh, caps that this doesn't actually work. You're just kind of resting on the edges. And this is kind of stable. You can see the bike is not falling off yet. But if I give it any kind of force, you can see it all just slide off. So it's not a very secure situation. All right, so now let's do a little more fair comparison. This is the, this is my felt road bike. It has a standard quick release. And this is kind of what this was more designed for. You can see if we lift it up, there are little cutouts for the uh, end caps. You can kind of shove this in. It takes a little bit of force. But now, and I'll click in place, and you can see now it kind of fills it out. And this is fairly secure. So another issue I have with this kind of generic eBay stand is that a lot of the advertising shows it with the rear wheels in place. But because of the spacing between these two holders, which I'll show you here, being at exactly six inches, uh, I don't have a bike that actually accommodates that. Uh, if we could look here, this is a standard quick release. Uh, it's almost eight inches across, so there's actually no way for this to ever fit. So I'm not quite sure it was, the advertising shows the different size. The one that actually shows the dimensions is 17 centimeters, which is about 16.7 inches, which again, uh, won't fit any standard size road bike at least. So perhaps it's an older design. But yeah, I think that's my main issue. This thing is kind of falsely advertised. The spacing on here will not accommodate uh, the rear wheels of any standard bike I know. Maybe smaller cassettes or older by style bikes might work. And again, the other issue is with the these kind of holders, it's really designed for a quick release uh, end cap, as you can see here, with a uh, through axle for any kind of more modern road bikes and mountain bikes. Uh, this is kind of a no-go, and these are now removable. So here we have a zoom up of the rear wheel of the felt within the Topeak stand. You can see what I really like about this is it has kind of deep channels, so it can handle different size wheels. These are narrow uh, road tires. 
So you can see the different notches here would uh, accommodate different wheel sizes. And then this rear kind of holder is nice and it's a little piece of plastic. It won't rub, the, won't damage your rims or anything. And as again, it's wide enough to accommodate different styles. You can see what's in, once it's in here, that little spring will kind of hold it in place. Really secure. I don't have to worry about quick release, non-quick release, what wheel size I'm using. Uh, it's a lot more compatible with different style bikes. All right, so now I have only the generic bike stand holding my uh, felt road bike up. What you can see is the quick release end caps actually fit pretty well in those little plastic slots. They've kind of expanded to fit the end caps. Uh, however, one issue I have is uh, there's not much stability here. It's pretty easy to kind of have this tip over. Uh, if I just get it a couple degrees, you can see this will easily fall over. And I think it's because there's not much weight at the bottom of the stand unlike the toe peak to really hold it down and with a kind of narrow footprint it just doesn't have stability so it's kind of okay if you don't really expect it to get nudged but one little nudge you can see it'll kind of fall over all right so now we're going to retry that stability test using the toe peak lineup stand you can see i have the rear wheel secured nothing on the front and we're going to try tipping it over again so you can see it's much more neutral at the same five degrees the other one was falling over. Uh, with this one, I can go pretty extreme, and I have to really, I think I have to go about 30, 40 degrees before this thing starts falling over. So pretty nice. It takes quite a bit, and it actually returns the center. Even though it has a small footprint, most of the weight is lower down, and those little uh, expandable legs kind of hold it in place. So significantly better. You can definitely walk by this, nudge it, and not have an issue. Now let's look at the final score for five different categories. First, compatibility. The Topeak lineup stand is a clear winner here as it can accommodate different wheel sizes, both the front and back, and then different style skewers, whether it's through axle or quick release. Second is price. Here the generic eBay stand is only $14, so it really can be beat, especially compared to a $65 Topeak stand. Third is stability. The Topeak lineup stand is far more stable and difficult to tip over. As we saw, the generic eBay stand is really easy to tip over and doesn't have enough weight to really hold it down. Fourth is build quality. Here they're pretty equal. The Topeak has a lot more moving parts and better construction, while the eBay stand gets away with easier, simpler parts. Finally, it's portability. Again, they're equally matched here. They're uh, both light and really compact. You can throw them in your backpack or throw in the garage. So combining the scores, the Topeak is a better purchase. It's not a perfect bike stand, but it's far more stable, can handle different style bikes, and uh, looks a lot better to the eye as well, better finish. The generic eBay stand is really cheap, but if you have a more modern road bike, uh, you're not gonna be able to accommodate much. It seems to only handle the front wheel of my uh, felt road bike. All right, thanks for watching this review. You can also follow us on Instagram at the Sweet Cyclist as well as our website at thesweetcyclist.com. Don't forget to like and subscribe this video, and The Sweet Cyclist reminding you to enjoy the ride.